I'm here at the 2017 NCHA Futurity and I have Jim Ware, owner of Triangle Horse Sales and just a wealth of knowledge in all things horses. Jim, what did you think of tonight? <laughs> it's exciting. And, you know, it's so coincidental, so much is going on here that's never, ever happened before. Let, let me tell you, my involvement in this is that Don Ham and I, we agent a lot of big horse deals and have for a long, long time. And so this horse was available back in May and and uh, I came in one day and watched Austin work him and Don had told me what a great horse he was and he had a customer and a personal friend that wanted a futurity prospect and so I, you know I, I thought well this is a no-brainer after watching his coat he was just special really special and so Austin uh, had you know, put so much faith in this horse and Austin and I are, are some combination of Don and Austin and I you know, we, we, we sold and kind of brought you a highbrow CD and bet he's a cat, bam a cat. And so our relationship with Austin is, runs deep. And so this horse is, is something that, that, you know, we're all really proud of for that reason. But the thing that's so unusual and so different about this horse is that Billy Wolf, the owner of this horse, has never owned a cutting horse in his life. And last night, Saturday night, prior to the semifinals or after truly after Austin worked in the semifinals last night, that's the first time that he had ever seen this horse before. He, he'd never even seen him before until he walked, Cade Shepard walked him in here last night. And he had never met Austin before. Talked to him on the phone, but had never met him. So it's like a success story that, you know, I've been keeping up with this a long, long time. You haven't come across one like this? I've, I don't know that I've ever known of a story quite like this before where the owner of the horse just met the horse and trainer the night before and comes back and wins the NCHA fraternity. So it's a, it's a big deal. And it's a cool story of faith in, you know, your friends who've got a lot of knowledge in the industry. Oh, it's, it is. It is. He did put a lot of faith, particularly into Don. I want to give Don most of the credit here. And, of course, Austin, it's a no-brainer to give him the credit. And, I mean, yeah, it, it, uh, I can't say enough about Austin. He's, you know, he's extraordinary. Austin. The Derby, the uh, Worlds, and the Futurity all in one year. And his second Futurity in 10 years. Yeah, it, it's unbelievable. And to work with him. The way we work with him, almost on a, a you know weekly basis, talk to him back and forth. We keep colts and training and other things, and you know I can't. There's just no way I can compliment him, his family, all his whole program, his help, everybody. It's un, unbelievable. He's there's Austin as far as I'm concerned, and every, everybody else. I mean, it's just that way with me. So, and I've known him since he was a child, and I just I, I can't say enough good about him. Okay, then you better give us a hint. What's going to be the next? Sire on the scene. <laughs> Hottish. Dusty. <laughs> Dusty Adams. Hi, Dusty. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Tell us about Hottish. Uh, Hottish is uh, part of our family, nine year old stud that we bought as a yearling, and uh, this is a very special horse. Had a few in there tonight. Had, had, had two in there tonight. We're very grateful. Um, our jockeys did a great job and, and represented their Colts and our stallion very well. And what's going to stand out about Hottish, do you think? Uh, just, I think, the, the look of the Colts, you know, just uh, confirmationally and the style that they work a cow. They have a lot of extra stuff to them, a lot of big moves, a lot like their daddy. And I think they're all unique, and, and I think that's how he was. Let me say this about it. It's, a, it's, it's truly unique for a first-year sire to, to sire the NCHA Open Futurity Champion, and he had finalists in all the other divisions and had a, another really good gilding with Jody Gallion in the top five, and so Hottish is on his way to becoming big, big, big-time sire. Dusty's a little modest about him, but he, he and, and, and people just need to think back a few years when Lloyd Cox showed him, Dusty showed him, he electrified this crowd here, just like the horse Austin showed tonight, just like his daddy, and just crawl all over the ground and do the athletic kind of things, and and the thing I think too that sets Hottish apart so is his dam. He's out of stylish play, Lena. She's one of the greatest mares ever, one of the greatest producers ever, and that's just that blood strong. And so it it proved it here tonight. This this young man's in the driver's seat for a long time with his stallion. I well, can it'll be fun to watch. Yes, ma'am. It's been a great ride. Uh, Hottish has taken us to places we never thought we would go. You heard it here, folks. Good tip there. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks.